Today, we are going to play with some plugs and sockets. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Gary's Mod, and you heard right. It's really going to be that simple. This, as the name suggests, is the Plugs and Sockets mod, and, well, it's pretty simple. You find something, you press left click, you press the R key, put the, well, plug into whatever you want, and Bob's your uncle. Suddenly now you can connect them. And there's something oh so satisfying about this movement. Now I know you're thinking, whoa, Necros, a four to five minute video on plugs? And I get it, it sounds stupid, but this has some pretty, well, clever design elements that you can put in if you're creative enough. For instance, it can be a proper demonstration of buoyancy and gravity. As we can see here, the balloons are not, well, buoyant enough to lift both this ball and the washer machine, but press E to detach, and there it goes. Now, as that goes all the way into the stratosphere, let's talk more about how this really works. So first things first, when you do put the socket down, you're not getting it off. That means you don't have to worry about welding. No matter what you do, it'll go to the spot that you originally put it. And of course, this also means that if you put it on the ground, you are not going to be able to move it. It is going to be stuck there. Same goes, of course, for the plug. If we were to switch to the plug, putting this on the ground is... Well, it's not going to be great. Now, of course, if you really wanted, you could go the opposite way. You could put, instead, the socket. I'm getting these mixed up. I'm starting to think the plug is the socket and the socket is the plug. Anyway, you can do it the other way around. It's just, it's not going to be as, um, pretty. Now, like I said, creativity is truly going to be the star of the show. So what did I just do there? Because that seemed like a lot of things going on. But the funny thing is, is it really wasn't. All I did was spawn in a cube and well, I put some sockets and then I just used the rope tool to rope a bunch of these barrels together. And well, I put a plug on it. But you might have noticed that I did something very peculiar. I shot the plug or the socket, whichever one works. And that also made it drop. And well, you can do the same thing with this tool. And obviously, I mean, these are just kind of basic examples. Truly, the sky is the limit for what you can do. That was not supposed to kill him, but you know what? I'll take it. Also, I'm totally not just copying demonstrations from the workshop page. <laughs> That'd be silly. Also, I should mention this, but for the plug, you can right click to summon it loose, which means that it won't just be stuck to whatever it is you place it on. So, Love that you do get both options, although you do not get that with the socket. This means that you do have the creativity to make a bunch of really cool contraptions and, well, save them and share them with your friends. Now, as we can see here, this cube is a little too heavy and it's kind of making the whole thing wig out. Now, I did add some very strong balloons to increase the buoyancy. However, it's not really going to matter once we shoot it down. Oh, God. Oh! Okay, this is not how I thought this was gonna go. There's too many balloons. Okay, there we go. Almost, oh, yep, that's it. That's right there. Premium map design, guys. Hire me for your next game. And you know, it's really funny because there are just so many different ways that you can make this work. Like right here, I have it hanging from this stalker device. Pod, Nathan, it's called a pod. And I went ahead and slapped on some of the good old dynamite. That fell. All right, that should fix that problem. So let's try this again. Bam! Our own drop pod. Who needs Halo ODST when you got Gary's mod? And when I say the sky is the limit, I really do mean the sky is the limit. All right, so what did we learn from today's video? Well, we learned that I am not very good at building contraptions, but you know what? That's the fun of it, because you can try things that you might not have been familiar with, or hell, maybe you just like sandbox shenanigans. So in my opinion, I think this tool is, well, a bonafide classic right out of the gate. In my opinion, this should even just be integrated into Gary's mod. It's so seamless with the rest of the tools. It's just as, well, iconic as the advanced duplicator. But I'd love to know your guys' thoughts down below. Do you think this is a classic add-on? Would you use this? I'd love to see your comments down below. As always, links will be in the description. Use code NECROS94. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, farewell.